skip to content the resurgent Ian Poulter shot a 4 under 67 on Saturday to take a one-shot lead into the final round of the RBC Heritage, putting him in position for his second victory in three weeks. Before April, Poulter had not won on tour in more than five years. Now, he's one more solid round away from adding another title to his dramatic win at the Houston Open on April 1st. No joke, Poulter's play is for real. Seven of the Englishman's last 11 rounds have been in the 60s after having just three such showings in his first 20 rounds this season. His latest left him at 13 under 200, and a stroke ahead of Luke List, 67, and Si Woo Kim, 68. World No. 1 Dustin Johnson failed to make a move and, after a 72, was tied for 41st, 10 shots behind. Poulter and his chasers will have a kick turnaround Sunday with tour officials starting play at 7 a.m. and going off in threesomes on both tees because of expected bad weather in the afternoon. Pan and Billy Horschel, both with 67s, were another stroke back at 11 under, and Kevin Kisner, 66, and Chesson Hadley, 69, were three shots behind at 10 under. Poulter made his run in spurts, moving out front with birdies on the 5th and 6th holes before getting his last two on the 12th and 13th. He saved par out of the bunker on the par 3 17th, rolling in a rock-solid 6-foot putt and making a routine par on the signature lighthouse hole, the 18th, to stay in front. Kim was in front at 12 under after birdies on the 8th and 9th holes. He fell back with bogey on no. 12 and could not catch Poulter down the stretch. List took off with three straight birdies on no's, 14 to 16. List, who finished second earlier this season at the Honda Classic, is seeking his first PGA Tour win. Second round leader Bryson DeChambeau had the confidence stride of a pending winner with his first solo 36 hole lead as a pro, at least until the third round got going. After grabbing a two shot lead with a birdie on number one, DeChambeau imploded with a triple bogey eight on the normally birdie able par five second. DeChambeau struck his second shot past the green and out of bounds by some condos. He fluffed his fifth shot into a bunker, then missed a five foot putt for the dreaded snowman. Three holes later, DeChambeau botched another par 5, the fifth, by rolling his blast from a bunker off the green and into a sprinkler cover. Unbelievable what's happened on the par 5s today, DeChambeau said as he saw his ball. DeChambeau had been 6 under par on Harbour Town's 3 par 5s the first two rounds. He played them in 3 over Saturday on the way to a 75 to fall 7 shots back. In his only two previous appearances here Johnson missed the cut badly, at 16 over in 2008 and 5 over in 2009. This time, he'd a channel the game that's made him the world's top-ranked golfer for more than a year. Instead, Johnson had bogeys on four of his first 11 holes before rallying to finish with a 72 and was 10 shots in back of Holter. Again, Johnson pointed to putter problems this week. Johnson missed five birdie putts of 16 feet or less on the front nine. Around here, you've got to hold some putts if you want to compete, he said. Johnson said the early call will be difficult as the winds pick up on what has been an unusually mild layout. Brooke Henderson wins in Hawaii for 6th LPGA Tour title Brooke Henderson pulled away Saturday at Gusty Coelina Golf Club to win the live championship for her 6th LPGA Tour victory. The 20-year-old Canadian closed with a 3-under 69 for a four-stroke victory. She moved within two victories tying Sandra Post's LPGA Tour record for Canadians. A stroke ahead entering the round after late putting trouble in a third round 73, Henderson finished at 12 under 276. Sainz Azahara Munoz had a 67, the low round of the day, to finish second. Top-ranked Chan Chan Fung, 71, third-ranked Inby Park, 72, and sixth-ranked Aria Jutan Nugarn, 69, tied for third at 7 under. With rain squalls and wind gusting to 30 miles per hour, Munoz and Jutan Nugarn put together the only serious charges of the final round. Both came up a few holes short. Munoz climbed 13 places and was two shots back after her fifth birdie of the day, at the 14th. But she parred in for her best finish in more than four years. Jutan Nugarn, from Thailand, secured her fifth top 10 this year but couldn't get the eighth victory of her career. She parred her final 11 holes. Henderson was the only other player in the 60s. Her lead was only 1-12 to 12th after her only bogey. She birdied two of the next four holes, while others dropped back. Hawaii's Michelle Wee had a 71 to tie for 11th at 3-under. Dunn holds one-shot lead after third round of Spanish Open Irish golfer Paul Dunn held on to a one-shot lead of the Spanish Open after shooting a 4-under 68 through the third round on Saturday. 
Dung moved to 17 under overall after making five birdies, to go with one bogey, at the Centro Nacional de Golf. Nacho Alvira of Spain, 66, reduced Dunn's three-shot overnight lead to a single stroke. World number no. 4 John Ram, 66, and Henrik Sturt of Sweden, 66, finished the day two strokes back. Ram, a local favorite coming off a fourth-place finish at the Masters, made seven birdies to move into contention.